metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Can't rocks be soft? Huh. Hmm. Uh, uh, can I help you? Guess not. We've stumbled upon this new planet is amazing. We were even lucky enough to find water. Just think of all the amazing things we can find. Maybe even life. <laughs> can we call this planet Crashville? Uh, let's get some other suggestions first. Get all the way down to a hundred below. Whoa! A hundred below what? Whatever it is, I'm freezing my tail off. Come check this out. Something's down here. Whatever's inside certainly appears to be living. Phenomenal! It's like a present! Let's open it up and see what's inside! Wait! We must be careful! We can't hurt whatever's inside! I've seen this movie before. And what happens next is never good. Ooh. This is a bad idea, I tell you. Explorers bring back something cool from space. They take it all the way to their spaceship, they let their guard down, and disaster strikes. Uh, hang on. What disaster? Bad disaster. Let's say the kind involving monsters. Imagine you wake up and decide to check out our mysterious life form. But when you get in there... Huh. Seems the ice has melted already. You consider waking someone else up. But surely everything is fine. But wait. What's that noise? Nothing, nothing, nothing. 
Hang on, guys. Maybe we should wait and see what's inside first before it's free. Yeah, and this is how we find out. Stop! Uh, hmm? There is a way to see inside without breaking it out. Wait, is this like a magic trick? Science is better than magic. Ladies and gentle creatures, please give a hand to our assistant in three, two, one. Can anyone see what is inside this rabbit? No, we can't. He's solid. That's correct. There's no way we can see what's inside him because he isn't transparent. I believe it's due to the power of light photons. Visible light is pretty weak. Photons simply don't have the power to pass through solid objects. When it encounters something solid, like Crash, they just get reflected or absorbed. That's right. Your average photon is just too weak. However, we need to use something a bit more powerful. Let's look at a little bit of radiation. Oh, of course. X-rays have higher energy and can pass right through our soft tissue. But if X-rays go straight through our whole bodies, we still won't be able to see a thing. No, there are some things even these X-rays aren't able to pass through. Harder objects like bone just end up reflecting the rays. Let me show you. Here's how it works. Our bones are dense, but our other parts like skin, fur, and muscles are soft. So the X-rays pass through the soft stuff and stop at the bone. So, whenever we look at an X-ray, what we see are the parts that reflect radioactive photons. So we can see uh, Crash's unique diet. Anyway, are we clear now? Hmm? I'm not clear. If we were, we wouldn't need X-rays. That makes so much sense. We should X-ray our findings before breaking it out. How about we leave it on the planet? Just skip the X-ray entirely. No one asked me. I second that. One moment. Well, what did you see? Wait, it's not that simple. We have to process it. Once the image is processed, then we can analyze our data. So thrilling! Well, we are doomed. No, don't say that. By the time those images get processed, we'll all be eaten. Oh, it's not true. Oh, help! We're all going to be eaten by a space cliché. Save me! It's amazing! We discovered new life! I knew there was something incredible inside! Phenomenal! <laughs> Neato! This thing's finally almost melted! What is that? Save yourselves, all the 
destroy this thing. Now! What gives? Well, thank goodness. I was freezing in there. Being stuck in someplace cold is basically the opposite of what bears are supposed to do. But, but, Barry, how did you get stuck in there? <laughs> I fell. It was not too bright. I thought it was mud, but no. <laughs> I froze instantly. <laughs> Guess the sun went down. Lucky you found me. It wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And I've seen this movie before, too. <laughs> too good. A lonely astronaut left behind on a planet. No, no. <laughs> this outdoes the movie. <laughs> Barry, we're all just tickled pink that you're back, aren't we? <laughs> tickled pink? Uh, guys? Anyone seen Rosa? When I get back, all of you are gonna pay! Oh, stupid planet! X-rays are credited to a German scientist named Wilhelm Röntgen. After he discovered the X-ray, other scientists wanted to call it the Röntgen ray. However, he instead just wanted to name his discovery X-rays. Röntgen had stumbled upon a new type of physics that no one else really understood. But he knew that what he had found could be useful. Seeing people's bones could help medical science immensely. His discovery was so impressive, he won the very first Nobel Prize in physics ever in 1901. The medical community could now flourish with x-rays. And this paved the way for other scientists to now get physics Nobel Prizes too. Like Max von Lau, who discovered more about x-rays. Or William Henry Bragg and Lawrence Bragg. Or Charles Barkla. They all continued to study x-rays and change what we know. <laughs> 